Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome to another episode. Today we're gonna analyze as usual the Bitcoin price. I also want to give a little a word at the end in regards to the altcoins. And before we start with the content, my friends, first a little shout out to every one of you. Thank you very much for your great support lately. We are hitting everyday records in terms of views, likes, subscriptions, and so on. So thank you very much for your support. And if you are a no coiner or a newcomer, make sure to subscribe here to the channel. We do daily TA videos. We always keep you updated. Also always hit that like button. Very much appreciated on every video that you are watching and also a big big shout out to our great crypto family over on discord if you want to join our great discord community then make sure to use the link down below here to get access to the free crypto trading chat over on discord once you click here on this invitation code you just have to go to read first to this channel over here because here you have to confirm that you are a human and not a bot because lately we got a lot of scams and bot attacks so that's why we now introduced this special feature that everyone just have to click here on this uh, thumbs up button and then you confirm that you are human and you can get access to our great crypto family over here we have different channels here for general channels chats, Bitcoin TA, Ethereum TA, altcoins, Prime XPT, co-vesting feature and so on. And here is also the place where you can get access to the live stream indicator. This is my own indicator which is giving you buy and sell signals for Bitcoin. So if you're trading for example over on Bybit or Femex with leverage, this indicator is very useful and like this you can of course also multiply your gains and to get access to this indicator of course a little donation is needed and then you get lifetime access otherwise of course you can enjoy the free chat that we have over here so make sure to join it as well and also a big shout out to the users grs and predi 2001 they are currently boosting our server so thank you very much for your support as well and now my friends let's start with the content because bitcoin currently recovered nicely above the 200 moving average in the four hour time frame i told you in yesterday's video that we have here a buy signal and we were expecting here this breather to the upside potentially to reach this thirty-four thousand dollar even up here towards thirty-five thousand five hundred. So the good thing is that this breather happened. We had this nice pump. So congratulations to everyone that took this trade out of this buy signal that we had here. And now, of course, let's see what are the next potential targets because yesterday it looked like that we maybe could even reach here this $35,000 area, maybe even push here towards our main resistance that we have currently at around $37,000. But as you can see, Bitcoin already had this uh, smaller correction now down again towards the 200 moving average. And this is now going to be very important where we're going to close the next couple of four hour candles below the 200 moving average or above the 20 moving average. The 20 currently is at 33,000 and the 200 at 30. 2000 so that means that wherever we're gonna close the next four hour candles above or below these moving averages then we're gonna see where bitcoin is going to head to next because if we're gonna have a close above i'm pretty confident that we will push here towards this 35,000, potentially even towards 37 thousand dollar and why i think that it is very likely that we could see this possible pump here in continuation to the upside here towards thirty-seven thousand dollar is because we are trading during a weekend so during a weekend uh, you always have a bit of play time where usually on weekends we see always a little pump and then towards monday when the cm is open again when the traditional markets are opening again we're gonna see a retracement back down to where we closed on friday so that's why this is the only reason why i think we could maybe see this little pump during this weekend but otherwise maybe better just wait and see where we're gonna close here the next couple of four hour candles currently we are just squeezing between these two moving averages here in the four hour and uh, based on the indicators we could see a possible breakout to the downside because we are getting rejected here from the rsi so we are still trading here on the bearish side we didn't manage to bring the rsi above 
the 50 level and also in my own indicator you can see that the money flow is coming down again so here we could get the sell signal pretty soon so that's why be very careful if you're already in a trade right now because we are squeezing between two important moving averages and this will decide then where we're gonna head to next and if we have a look into the bollinger bands you can also see that we're getting rejected from the middle line so we're still trading here on the bearish side only a four hour close above thirty three thousand dollar my friends we lead into another pump towards 35 to 37 thousand dollar we have all the stochastic currently overbought so that's why i think most likely we're gonna have continuation to the downside potentially to retest this 30k area maybe even drop lower and uh, yeah, MACD and KSD are still uh, trading a bit sideways. Maybe in KSD we're gonna have a bullish cross here, but uh, I think currently the RSI and the stochastic is telling more that we're most likely gonna see here continuation to the downside, at least here in the lower time frames and if we go over into the daily you can see that currently we are still closing candles below the 9 and 20 daily moving average and the 9 daily moving average is coming down towards $34,700 and here in my own MA indicator you can see that currently we are in a downtrend as long as the 9 daily moving average is in red we should expect a continuation to the downside and I think that also here we're most likely gonna stay here a bit trading sideways within this potential falling wedge we could even create a falling wedge but overall I think we're gonna stay a bit here between the 9 daily moving average here at 35,000 and the 50 daily currently at $28,400 before maybe we're gonna see a big breakout to the upside or to the downside this pattern that we could form you can see it better here in the cleaner chart here in the CMEs uh, we could form this falling wedge which of course is a bullish pattern but we're gonna stay here trading sideways a bit maybe coming down towards 20k and then have the big breakout to the upside this is a scenario that I think could happen uh, but let's wait and see it's still a bit too early to tell but overall I think we're gonna stay here between the 9 daily and 50 daily moving average for a while before we're gonna see then a big breakout to the upside uh, or maybe we're gonna see first a fake out to the downside towards 20 seven or 20k and then gear up again for a big parabolic move to the upside so in the daily you can also see that currently we're still trading uh, below the 50 level in the rsi which of course is also a bit bearish in my own indicator the momentum is still shifted to the downside but the good thing is that the money flow is coming in again so let's see if we're able to get here a buy signal or not currently nothing is flashing so we should expect here still continuation to the downside or at least a little bit of sideways movements and now we can also have a look into the uh, Bollinger Band in the daily because also here we are trading on the bearish side so as long as we cannot close the daily candle uh, yeah, above uh, 34500 or $36,000 we should expect the price to go lower and potentially also overshoot here the Bollinger Band to the downside. The bottom is currently at 30k so that's why I think if we're gonna see a possible breakdown here during the weekend and watch out for 27,020k uh, because uh, if we're gonna have here an overshoot to the downside below 30k this also could be result in a big wick to the downside or a fake out because the Bollinger Band bottom currently is right here at 30,000 dollar stochastic is also oversold so we should expect here a push to the upside pretty soon only MACD and KSD they are still bearish here they are still shifted to the downside so here that's why I think we could still see some days maybe the whole week uh, of uh, sideways movements or uh, more pushes to the downside because remember that if we go over into the weekly time frame we still have the weekly sell signal flashing here so currently it looks like that we're gonna confirm this sell signal and therefore I'm expecting continuation to the downside also for next week because uh, so far we didn't come down here to really test a nine weekly or 20 weekly moving average between 27 and 20k and that's why i think maybe latest next week we're gonna see here a big test of these important supports down below here and if it's not happening this week then most likely this was already the correction we came very close to the nine weekly moving average and we're gonna gear up again for another big move to the upside but as it stands right now in the weekly time frame in my opinion we first gonna see one last retest of the nine weekly or 20 weekly moving average during this weekend or latest next week before then we gear up for another big move to the upside because bitcoin is looking still very bullish in the bigger time frames even though this correction is in the cards my friends and as you can see also the rsi is just cooling off here a little bit we still have a lot of room left to the downside i still expect the rsi to come down to the 50 level 
before we bounce again and then have a clear big pump to the upside that will also take out this all-time high that we had currently at 42,000 dollar and also if we have a look into the bollinger bands you can see that currently we're trading back again in the bollinger bands and that's why i think a retest of these two important moving averages here between 27,000 and 20k is very likely to come since now we are starting to close again weekly candles within the bollinger bands Previously, we always had closes above of it. That's why we had this parabolic move to the upside. And this is now the first time that we're starting to re-enter into the Bollinger Bands. And that's why I think it is very likely that we will see during the weekend or latest next week, this test of these two important moving averages. Also, stochastic is coming down now. So everything, in my opinion, is pointing out that we're gonna see this possible 20K retest or 27,000 before we gearing up again into our bull trend towards new all-time highs, my friends. So if we're gonna see this bigger correction that I think could still happen, and I think we're still gonna see continuation to the downside, take it as a very good buy opportunity for Bitcoin. It's going to be very convenient for you for the long term if you're buying as much as you can with every dip. At the end, it will not matter if you bought all in at 20K or 40K because you will win anyway. And now my friends, I just want to say something in regards to the altcoins because currently we are seeing a lot of altcoins pumping like crazy. For example, Ethereum is also breaking here this previous resistance line and it looks like that also here we're gonna see continuation to the upside. I think if here we're gonna take out this high here at 1,280, it is very likely that we go up here to retest 1,440 and then potentially even pump towards our target of this breakout that we had here because we didn't reach the target here of around $1,700. And I think if we are able to take out this high here at 1,280, it is very likely that we're gonna have a push towards this price target. And there are also some other altcoins like Chainlink, for example, that are printing one all-time high after the other. And even though, of course, we always are seeing such nice altcoin rallies and some altcoins will outperform most likely Bitcoin, be always very careful when you're jumping into a rolling train because uh, usually these altcoins are always pumping like crazy at the end of a rally. So usually after the altcoins finish their rally, we're gonna see a crash in the Bitcoin price, then everything is coming down and then everything starts all over again, the whole bull cycle. That means that after a big crash, we then gonna start first with Bitcoin, Bitcoin will rally, the altcoins will lag behind, then we see some top coiners like Ethereum, Litecoin, maybe even XRP, who knows, following Bitcoin slowly, slowly, but Bitcoin at the beginning is outperforming everything. And at the end, we're gonna see all these small caps and all the altcoins have a big rally when Bitcoin is already starting to trade sideways and struggling to go higher and higher. So usually these pumps that we are seeing in the altcoins happens always at the end of a cycle. So always just before Bitcoin is gonna have a bigger correction and then everything is coming down again and we start the whole cycle over and over again. And that's why be careful if you're jumping in right now into some altcoins. Of course, you can do some very nice gains short term, but for the long term, make sure that you have the most of your portfolio into Bitcoin and you are also able to buy the dip if we're gonna see that correction in the Bitcoin price because it will take also all the altcoins down and they will bleed a lot if Bitcoin is gonna crash and maybe reach our bearish targets between 27 to 20K. So keep that in mind that all the altcoins that you're seeing right now pumping, most likely they're gonna continue to pump during the next days or weeks but if Bitcoin is gonna have a massive crash, all the altcoins will follow. So always take it with a grain of salt here, these pumps that we are seeing in the altcoins. If you're already invested, then congratulations. Of course, you made some very nice gains. Take also sometimes some profits out into Bitcoin or also a little bit into cash. So you're able to buy the dip if one day we're gonna see a major correction, which in my opinion, right now we could see here in the Bitcoin price, depending of course, where we're gonna continue to close the next couple of four hour candles and of course, also the daily candles. So if you want to take a trade during the week and my friends, then maybe wait to see where we're gonna close here the next couple of four hour candles above the 20 MA or below the 200 MA here in the four hour if you want to take a short or a long, but most likely we're gonna just stay here between 35 to 30 K before we're gonna see here a breakout, which in my opinion could maybe happen only by next week.
So let's see what the weekend will bring my friends. If there is a big jump here in the Bitcoin price, I will update you with an update video or also over here on Discord. So make sure to be subscribed on all of my channels that you find down below here. I always keep you updated. And if you are new here in the crypto market, then make sure to check out all the links down below here because with my invitation links, for example, for Swissborg, Binance, Coinbase and so on, you will get some extra cash so you can buy even more cryptos and also those are all the legit recommended exchanges that I also use myself. So that's why I try them out. Maybe some of them you can also use. And of course, if you want to trade Bitcoin, Ethereum and all the cryptos with leverage, try out Bybit, Femex, Dudex, Binance, PrimeXPT and also Bityard because on all of them you will get extra bonus if you use my links and in all of them you can trade with all the cryptos that you want with leverage and if you don't want to trade yourself try out my own indicator that you can find over on Discord or join here the PrimeXPT because here currently the co-vesting feature is going completely ham most of the traders are completely sold out no one can follow them anymore so you just have to wait and refresh this website every minute to see once a slot is getting free you can immediately click here and follow the traders because currently it looks very full because most of them are doing really nice gains and here you can just top up some Bitcoin click on the trader that you want to follow here and automatically you will copy trade that trader and like this of course you can also multiply your Bitcoin so currently this co feature is very popular if you want to give it a try then use my invitation link down below here no KYC nothing needed just your email to register top up with some bitcoin and you can immediately start so with that said guys i'm gonna wrap it up for now thank you again very much for watching subscribe to the channel hit that like button and with a ledger in our hands and crypto in our hearts i salute you bye for now <music>